what's up guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I ended up making this faux wrap skirt out of a large a-line skirt so as you can see it was a little too big for me the first thing I did was take it in at the waist I tried it on and pinned two inches on either side then flipped it inside out and started mapping out the shape of my skirt and marked it with a marker then pinned the fabric in place before sewing and cut off the excess fabric and did the same on the other side. And this is where I messed up. I originally wanted to make these into palazzo pants, but I didn't leave enough fabric for the legs of the pants. So it would have been too tight for the style I was going for. So that's when I came up with a different idea, which was to make a mini faux wrap skirt. I even drew it out so I wouldn't mess it up again. I was going to leave the back as it is and the front of the skirt was going to have a curved hem and the wrap of the skirt was going to be made from the excess fabric as well as a tie that goes all the way around the waist. Then I tried the skirt on and marked the length I wanted and added two inches for the hem. And I marked all along the bottom of the hem with a marker before cutting. All right, so then I took the remaining fabric and cut down the seams placed the existing skirt on top of the remaining fabric and gathered the measurements I needed for the wrap portion of the skirt. Then drew the pattern out of craft paper, pinned it to my fabric and cut. I found it easier to cut with a rotary blade, so that's what I did. Next, I have to cut out the tie, so I needed to cut four panels, two for each side, for the skirt. The existing waistband of the skirt was 1.5 inches in width. So I cut a pattern that was four by 13 inches with seam allowances included and cut four of these with right sides together. I sewed two of those panels together and I did this for both sets. This tie here is actually for the back. So I had to pin the right sides together again and sewed. I also decided to taper out the end of the tie. Next for the front tie, I pinned a quarter inch seam allowance to one half and pressed down. This is where the wrap will attach. Then pinned the other half right sides together and sewed. Then I pinned the curve hem of the wrap panel and made a double folded hem. Next I had to seam rip the seam of the skirt that the wrap panel was going to be attached to. This was also the time to hem the whole skirt. But first I had to measure where I wanted the front curve to be. Then marked it with a marker before cutting and did the same double folded hem for the rest of the skirt. Once it was done, it was time to attach the tie to the wrap panel. First, I lined up the bottom of the panel and the skirt to mark where to attach the tie. So I ended up sandwiching the wrap panel in between the tie by folding it over. And since I pressed the hem down earlier, it looks much cleaner. Then I pinned it into place and stitched it down all the way. Now it was time to put all the layers together. So I layered by starting with the back of the skirt right side up then the back tie, then the front wrap panel, and then closed it up with the front of the skirt, right side together. Pinned and sewed everything together. And there is my skirt. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked this kind of tutorial, then please let me know by giving this video a like or a comment. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.